Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and this is the fifth video in a multi-part tutorial on building Alexa skills with Twilio Autopilot. Before continuing, please make sure that this video hasn't been updated, and you can do that by checking the description. If you see a link to an updated video in there, click that link and watch that rather than this one. You don't have time to watch outdated tutorials. Okay, with that, let's, um, let's get back into it. We are going to pick up where we left off in the last video. And what we did, what we've been doing up to this point in the first four videos is building a, an example, a demo skill uh, for Alexa. And it, it's really simple. It lets somebody get the operating hours for a business and rate the business. And let's walk through it. So this is what, it, this is what we've got right now. So we'll start with um, when you open the skill, a user would say, uh, Alexa, open demo skill. You can ask me for our operating hours or you can rate our service. And Which would you like to do? We'll rate the service. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate our service? We'll say a 10. Would you recommend us to a friend? We'll say yes. The function is responding now. Okay, so this is where we left off. Right now, what's happening is the autopilot service is passing the request on to a function that we set up in Twilio and we're using Twilio functions to do this. And so let's go over here and take a look at this just as a review of what we talked about in the last video. So what's going on here in the, uh, the tasks is the service rating task is using the collect action to collect the rating information. And then when the rating information is collected on complete, it calls the service rating confirm task, which is this one here. And the service rating confirm task is redirecting that request to this URL, which is a Twilio function that we set up in the last video. So this is the function. And right now the function's really basic. It's just responding with this text here. The function is responding now. And so what we're gonna talk about in this video is doing something with the information that the um, that collect collected. And the way that we're gonna do that is uh, we're gonna, this object that gets passed in here, this uh, param event is a JSON object that's got everything in it that we need to, um, uh, all of the data that was collected and we're going to just for this example we're going to use that to respond back with something um, that uh, lets us know that the information was in fact collected and all of this that i'm going to talk about incidentally the format the json format and all of that is in the autopilot documentation so the i'm not going to get into the the, the formats here i'll just kind of go through this quickly but all of that is available so um First of all, we're going to parse out the uh, we're going to parse out the memory object that's coming in that event object. This here, so we'll let memory and we'll use uh, the JSON parse to parse out the memory object, and then um, I'm going to copy and paste some code that I did earlier and talk through this. And so here we have, um, I'm setting two variables. I'm gonna set the value of rating underscore scale and rating recommend. And I'm using the same name that I used in the collect. So in the collect JSON that we set up here, I call this rating scale and then rating recommend. And so in here, to get the values that are being passed over by autopilot, I'm going to uh, just call memory uh, Twilio collected data. And also um, this next part here, this rate service, this is the name of, that's this here, the name of the collect collection uh, uh, question collection that uh, that we set up and then uh, for each of those I'm going to get the um, the answer value for the question so answers rating scale dot answer or it's going to be empty 
And once I do this, then I can use those in my response. And I'll do something like, let's see. Um, let's see. We will put this here. And I'm just going to respond back with you rated us a whatever the, the rating was on a scale of one to 10 and said uh, yes or no when asked if you would recommend to a friend. And we'll just feed that back for right now. So I'm going to save that and we'll go back over here to the Alexa developer console and test this out. So. Hello. You can ask me for our operating hours or you can rate our service. Which would you like to do? On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate our service? We'll say 10. Would you recommend us to a friend? You rated us a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10 and said yes when asked if you would recommend us to a friend. Okay, so now you can see that we're getting the uh, information that was collected and we're able to use it in our function. In, um, in a live skill, we'd probably save it to a database and we'd also want to do some other things like validate the information that's coming in and that's also part of collect. So the example that I'm using here is really, really simple. But if somebody said 11 and it was a scale of one to 10, you wouldn't want that. You'd want to constrain it to 10. And so part of what we could do although we're not going to do that in this video, but part of what we could do is we could go um, back over here and in this collect JSON, we could um, use some, some additional information to validate the input that's coming in and respond back if the input was invalid. But that is where we're going to stop for today. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those and I'll respond just as quickly as I can. If you like the video, please like it on YouTube. And if you're not subscribed to the Dabble channel, please do so. Thanks so much.